Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great. And today, I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on how to smell good all day by using your body washes and your creams and layering certain creams or certain fragrances. But I was trying to add it to my vlog, but it was making the vlog way too long. So I decided to do its own separate video. So if this is something that you're interested in, just keep watching. And if you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more of this type of content. Okay, so let's start off with coconut oil. Now, I only use virgin coconut oil for my fragrances that have coconut in it. And if I want the fragrance to project and, you know, leave a beautiful trail, I don't use the coconut oil. Why? Because coconut oil, I mean, it's oil. So what makes your fragrance project is the alcohol that's in your fragrance. So the more oil that's in your fragrance, the less your fragrance is going to project and it's going to be a skin scent. So what I've learned is that using coconut oil not only changes the scent of your fragrances that don't have a coconut note, but it also makes your, your scent wear closer to your skin. You're killing all the alcohol that's in the fragrance and the, and the alcohol is what we need to make the fragrance project. I have this, but I don't use it as often as I used to and I mainly only use it in the summertime. And if I do use it, I put this first straight out the shower and then I have a coconut body butter that I use from um, the body shop to put over it so that this is less oily because the more oily your skin is, the more your fragrance is going to wear closer to your skin. So this is the biggest myth and it may work for you still, but for me, the coconut oil, just it just does not work and I don't use it with my fragrances. Guys, if you ever pass a L'Occitane store in your mall, because they're literally all over in every mall, or if you just you know happen to see it online, guys, you need this in your life. This almond shower oil is amazing. It is so good and layered with your fragrances with almond. I specifically bought this from my Lost Cherry. Even though, I mean, I use this like with, with whatever fragrance, like if I feel like smelling like almonds in the shower, then I'll use this. But when I use my Lost Cherry or any other almond note fragrances, I use this shower oil and then the Amand body cream. Guys, it is so amazing. It's very hydrating, but let me explain something to you. Even though a lot of these creams are very hydrating, what I use to layer first is my Eucerin body lotion. I don't care what I'm putting on my skin. I do a two-step process. I use my Eucerin body lotion and then whatever body cream or body butter that I'm using for the day scented, I put that on top of my Eucerin body lotion because you just need, it It adds extra moisture. And like I said, it's, it's layering. It's not just layering the scents, but it's layering to make your fragrances have something to adhere to. So the lotion, will stick to your skin and then the body cream will stick to that lotion and then your fragrance will have like a double layer to stick to. I'm telling you, it works. Going back to this shower oil, guys, it's almond. If you like an almond note, you need this. It is so good. It lathers up when you put it on your loofah, you wet it, it lathers up, it stays on your skin. So it leaves not an oily, like film on your skin but it just leaves your skin soft and supple and smelling like almonds and then once you layer with your eucerin i'm telling you use a eucerin or whatever body lotion you feel comfortable with but for me i use eucerin and then i put this on top guys that lost cherry doesn't go anywhere that cherry is not lost she is completely found and she's not going anywhere because she has so much to stick to on top of the fact that I do overspray. So yeah, guys, you need this in your life. Okay, so now we have Joe Malone. Guys, I love Joe Malone bath and body products. I mean, I actually love them more than the fragrances. For me, that's what is the money maker within the Joe Malone house. So here we have the Red Roses. 
body, body butter and the shower gel. And we also have the orange blossom set. Body butter, shower gel. I have almost every shower gel and body butter from Jo Malone. But I'm specifically showing you these two because most of the fragrances that you own or most of the fragrances out there have either a rose note or an orange blossom note. And if those fragrances don't come with a body cream or a body butter or a body wash, the Jo Malone is what you need to layer with those fragrances. Orange blossom smells like complete, true orange blossom. The red roses, just fresh cut, wet roses. And the body cream consistency is amazing. Look at this consistency, guys. It's so thick and rich and luxurious. I love it. So this is the Red Roses. Do you see how thick that is? So if you own Benevolence by the House of Siage or Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, YSL Lieb, any fragrance with Orange Blossom, guys, this is amazing to use for those fragrances. Layer with your body lotion and then you put the body cream on top, but not before using the shower gel. Okay guys, so let me show you one of my favorite combinations. Tiffany Intense layered with Oud Satin Mood body oil. Guys, everything. So I started off in the shower with the body wash, which is here. I use my Eucerin body lotion. And then after that, I use the Tiffany body cream, body butter. I, I put the Oud Satin Mood oil on top of that. And then I spray the Tiffany on top of that. Guys, when I'm telling you that I got like at least five to six compliments that day. And mind you, these are people all wearing masks and we're social distancing from people. And people are smelling me through the mask. So I had to tell you guys about this combination. I don't know what it was, maybe because I used the shower gel, the, the Oud Satin Mood Oil, the, um, the Tiffany Body Butter, and the Intense of Tiffany is amazing. I've tried the original Tiffany and I love it because the bottle is pretty because it has the Tiffany blue collar around here. This one doesn't, but this fragrance is amazing. The Tiffany Intense is definitely a 10 for life or a <laughs> hundred for life at this point. So this combination is wicked good. <laughs> so now we have Balade Sauvage by the Maison Christian Dior line. This body butter is everything. It's so thick, it's so rich, it's so moisturizing. And this smells like the cousin of Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And if you have a fragrance with the note of fig, use this cream. If you like a fig note, guys, amazing. And but this body cream, like tonight, I've taken a shower. I didn't put a fragrance on. I used Balade Sauvage. But in the past, I've layered this Balade Sauvage body cream with my Maison uh, Francis Kirkjohn Gentle Fluidity Gold. Guys, I don't know if it's the fig that just sweetens it up. And I don't really have performance issues with that one. But when I tell you my fragrances last on me for hours and hours and hours because I have rigorous <laughs> methods in what I do to make my fragrances last longer. Like when I take my shower, it's a very long process. I'm either always late for certain things because it's a while for me in the shower. My, my whole get ready process, just it's, it's a movie. So yeah, if you have Gentle Fluidity Gold, try it with Balade Sauvage. This is a, an amazing luxury cream. It's great to have. Um, and can we talk about how no one ever mentions, mentions the fact that Delox and Gentle Fluidity Gold smell like almost identical? If you have the two, please um, do the test and, and let me know if my nose is, is just going crazy. But Delox and Gentle Fluidity Gold from um, Maison Francis Kirkjohn, they smell almost identical. This Bama Jam is so big, she can barely fit on the stand. <laughs> so anyway, so this is my Narciso Rodriguez uh, body cream, the For Her body cream. But you can use this with any Narciso Rodriguez fragrances because this is musk heavy. So other fragrances that aren't from Narciso Rodriguez that have the note of musk, I've layered with this and it is amazing. If you like the smell of musk, and I love the Narciso Rodriguez, the way that he does musk. 
so layered with any fragrance that you have with musk that you want to just you know make pop a little bit or just to layer try this combo it is amazing these body silks from bond any body soap from bond oil concentration is very high the expiration date a lot of these creams don't like they don't last past six months like for instance my delina cream love delina love 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 it i layer with my delina fragrance and i also use this with with my um atomic rose but this expiration date is six months the bond cream expiration dates are like three years so investing in a bond fragrance is a good idea because you're going to have it for a very long time and the delina cream is i believe it's like a hundred dollars or yeah i believe it's 98 dollars for this cream it's super fragrant it's it smells really good the consistency is really good however like i said the expiration date is six months so pay attention to that when you're buying your your you know your creams and your when you're investing in your body creams and your body butters you want to invest in a cream that lasts at least 12 months when open you know what i mean because especially if you have a lot of creams and fragrances and things like that like you want to be able to preserve it as long as you can but the delena cream you have to like literally like i use that very generously because i don't want it to waste because after six months it's a wrap all right guys before i let y'all go i just have to show you this masterpiece of a shea butter this is the portrait of a lady body butter guys i finally got it and i'm so happy do you see that consistency guys you can probably smell it through the screen i purchased the fragrance first obviously i purchased the fragrance i've had the fragrance for a year now now the body butter i recently purchased on a sale that nima marcus was having i did not need the fragrance because that is how fragrant the body cream is but i mean the thing is you might as well get the fragrance because the body cream is actually like there it's probably just a hundred dollars less than the fragrance which is kind of insane but the consistency is amazing and the shelf life is long as well it's not six months this is a shea butter you can have this for years and it won't you know it won't go bad so if you can invest in this the portrait of a lady body cream or body butter if you like this smell it is such a great investment guys you got to get it Mm, mm, mm. just look at that mm, so good and i just have these off to the side this is the myrrh and tonka body oil shower oil guys if you like anything with myrrh and tonka and you don't have you know you don't want the, the joe malone use your myrrh and tonka shower oil with your fragrances with myrrh and tonka like i use the shower oil with my christian louboutin fragrance because it has um myrrh and a couple of other fragrances that have myrrh that I use a shower oil with, and it is amazing. The Balder Freak Body Cream and Body Lotion. I have this because, you know, it's not like biradal, like all of biradal doesn't struggle in, you know, performance, but the the fragrance of, of the Balder Freak smells so good that I wanna experience that scent in the shower. And then I use my Eucerin out the shower, and after the Eucerin, I'm using the Body Butter so or body cream whatever <laughs> and then layer with the fragrance guys my fragrance is last on me and when you want to talk about sillage and leaving a scent trail you need more than a fragrance to do that you need more than a heavy spray to do that you have to have the body the body wash or some type of body wash with that note in there and then from the body wash use a unscented lotion and then from the unscented lotion you put the scented lotion or body cream or body butter on top of that then your fragrance guys you're going to be smelling good all day you're going to be walking past people the breeze is going to blow and they're going to smell you because this is this is me People that know me know I smell good. I get compliments on my fragrances or just on me smelling good all the time. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing. It could be, you know, I make videos about fragrances that's most complimented, but to be honest with you, I get compliments on every fragrance in my collection because I layer, I layer and people are going to smell the fragrances from the shower, the body wash and all that process. So. If you guys want to see a more in-depth video like this, let me know. And if you want to see like a collection of my body creams and body butters, because guys, I have not just as many, obviously not, but I have a lot 
of body butters and body lotions and body corks and body creams and all that stuff because it's just it's necessary and when you want to smell good it, it goes beyond fragrance it, it starts from the shower it actually starts from your diet but you know that's a whole other video we ain't gonna talk about that right now so let's just stick to what i was talking about today and we will keep it moving so like i said thank you guys for watching it's a little different you know but i wanted to bring this to you i didn't want to do it in a formal video and i didn't want to put it in my other vlog because i didn't want my vlog to be two hours long so yeah let me know if something like this would be you know of value to you and i'll get that done so peace guys